Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. I'm Baron. Let's rest. Oh, it is about time we rested. I've seen enough waking hours, thank you very much. I was not aware that morale, morale was so low. What can I do to make you happy? I do not want to be happy. I want to be angry and not feel bad about it. If I knew what was wrong, I could help. Stop being so damn responsible. No, reasonable. Get mad and say you won't stand for it. Act like you should. Jahira, calm yourself. This makes no sense. It it makes a lot of sense to me. If you had only acted like everyone said. If you had just been the murderous bastard you were born to be. None of this would have happened if you had accepted your evil heritage. I would not have sided with you. I would not have fought for you. I would not have... Jahira, making you wrong will not change any anything. If I was wrong, at least the dead would have died for just reasons. So many that are dead, and we are the cause. How can all these people have been wrong? Numbers do not make it right. We are alone, but we are correct. Everyone is wrong except the failed Harper and the Peria born evil. That's rich. I'm sorry, hey, would you blow me? I know we are in the right, that you are not the creature of chaos they claim. I am not sure why I feel this way. I should be happy, but I'm not. Even with all we have done to make things right, I'm still troubled. Well, time heals all wounds. Unless, of course, they get infected. Funny. I'm just not in the mood for laughing. Let's just get some rest. Okay, so I think be. if we want to enter the Watcher's Keep, we have to talk to Brother Paul. Good day to you. Helm praises upon you, child, for your aid. As Brother Odin said, there are two things you will need within and I shall give them to you now. The first is the holy symbol that shall allow you to pass through the seals of the prison. Do not lose it, child. Without it, you cannot enter the keep. Or, if you are within, you will be trapped forever. The second is the ritual scroll which will repair Helm's seal upon the keep. It need only be read aloud in the presence of the imprisoned one. You require no special training to do so. Reaching the imprisoned one is difficulty. The Watcher's Keep was built many ages ago to contain great horrors that walked Farron, but it was abandoned centuries before Helm restored its purpose. When Helm came to us, he asked half our order to sacrifice themselves to become spirits guarding the keep and aiding to the ancient seals that were already in existence. The spirits will guard against all who enter, they cannot be reasoned with. Add to this the evil which has been drawn to this place by the infection of the imprisoned one. All these obstacles must be bypassed. When you finally, finally reach the lowest level, you must open the final seal to gain access to the imprisoned one himself. I do not know what state he will be in. Read the ritual quickly before he attacks. Have you any other questions for me then, child? Hmm, how many levels are in the keep? I believe there are five separate levels within the keep, the fifth of which is the lower vault that allows access to the imprisoned one himself. Each will have a seal that prevents access to the next level. I know little of what manner of seals are in place, however, nor how they might be overcome. They are meant to prevent simple access, however, so unlocking the seals will not be simple. Uh, how do I get into and out of the keep? The entrance to the first level is here, at the top of the keep. You may only enter or leave through it with the holy symbol in your possession, of course. All the other levels all have doors that exit out to the side of the keep, but their seals may only be unlocked uh, with the holy symbol from within, not from without. Once they are opened, however, you may re-enter through them. Have you any other questions? Yeah. Why do I just not destroy the imprisoned one and get it over with? Oh no no no! The imprisoned one must not be killed. If indeed he even can be. Ham has strictly forbidden us from even attempting. Although I do not know why. Perhaps death too would be a form of freedom. Hmm, is there anything you can tell me about what lies within the keep? Very little child. We have been into the first level combating the creatures that assaulted us, but we were driven back before we could examine the first seal. It is an ancient archive and temple long unused. 
It may be a temple to Helm, I do not know. I did not get enough time to examine everything. I would suspect, however, that the clerics that once existed within were able to access the second level in some manner. Many of the old tomes within, wills within seem to be in good condition. Perhaps somewhere there may be found more information on the other levels and their seals. Okay. So I we got of the, path that has been the taken Vigil so Stone the good has been and the Ritual Scroll. Apparently those are important. Let's get in here. Man, there are two Consider doors. It done. Fine. Strange runes of warding are inscribed on the floor and walls around the doorway. This Though whether the purpose is to creepy. keep people out or I keep really something in here. is unclear. A warning above the door proclaims caged within these holy walls, the prison one forever lies beneath. Great! So there are two doors. Let's try the small one first. Get in there. What is that? An archivist? Or the ghost of one? Cold. So very cold. Uh, I don't. I didn't know. Knew that, yep. I didn't know that ghosts could feel cold. Gotcha. Any traps in here? Yes. One could say so. Keep a wary eye about. One never knows the form that danger can take in a place such as this. Anything to lock or unlock, rather? The rest is not locked. What I will do, do my best. Lots of stuff. Um, Paladin's braces. Defenders of justice are ever eager to acquire another tool which may be used to thwart. The machinations of evil. However, these particular gauntlets can only be worn by a warrior of purest heart. Plus 10 to maximum hit points while equipped. Only usable by paladins. Who needs that? But I guess that item is upgradable. So we put it in here. What was that? Want of sleep. Um, yeah, like that. So, what's in here? Okay, a few books that I don't need. And throwing weapons. Some money. And more useless books. Let's open Where that door. Minsk goes, evil stands a stone golem. A dead stone golem. What's that? A troll? I tore myself, strike you down! Uh, maybe we should attack the spectral troll first. I think he's near death. So you attack this one, and you with your shiny fire knife. Yes. To right and on victory! Kill him. Thanks. Great fun! How come you're dead? Okay. Feel the backhand of justice! And you're the last one. Easy. Okay. There may be a trap here. Good to go. Very well. What do we get? I approve One thousand four hundred. Has been taken so far. The good has been upheld. And a few useless books. One thousand four hundred. One thousand four hundred. Twelve thousand. Hmm. For the spirit troll. Twelve thousand for the spirit troll. 
1,400, 3,500 for the spectral troll. Okay. What Done. do we have here? A handwritten note. Lots of unnecessary books. That's apparently not trapped. Great. Warm up here. What did we get? Elminster's Ecologies Appendix Illa. This time run tome is written by the sage Elminster and apparently part of a much larger body of work containing detailed studies on most of the strange creatures from around Ferron. The appendix seems to refer to newly discovered variations on normal breeds of creatures. Of particular interest? Dense puddings, a relative of the slimes and moles. This pudding is relatively normal except when exposed to electricity or fire. When this occurs, it splits into new puddings and can therefore be very dangerous. Fire trolls, a new form of troll, though to have been thought to have been created by sorcerous fire giants, for use as servants and guards. They are similar to regular trolls in most respects, except for their lava temperature, skin and burning touch. Once they are defeated, they can only be killed by cold or acid. Fission slime. An offshot of the slimes and moles, this particular slime will split into new and independent creatures when hit. It is vulnerable to fire, which will kill it permanently. Magic golems. This rare type of golems is formed from pure magical energy and is completely immune to spellcraft as well as enchanted weapons. To my knowledge, only weapons without enchantments have any effects on this creature. Marylaths. While this is apparently a legitimate form of a demon, this is one that only exceptional few have encountered and survived. The Marylath is a human six-armed is a six-armed demon with a human female front half and the back half of a snake. She is incredibly quick and deadly and on her martial prowess on top of her martial prowess with thick swords she can cast spells as well. Fighters should beware, in addition to being immune to normal weapons and minor enchantments, this demon also likes to cast immunity to magic weapons. Which must be dispelled if a fighter is to have any chance with his armaments. Great. What's that? Tattered parchment. This fragment of an ancient and tattered scroll is inscribed with on it calligraphy which reads And the sacred book shall be placed upon the altar. Let the consecrated wisdom of the holy world, world bless the faithful. Let the bell ring forth a final time in joyous celebration of his name. Praised and triumphant to eternity's end, the ritual is complete. Let the bell ring forth a second time in honor of the Holy One, and his name shall forever ring across the lands. Let the ritual candle be lit in honor of the Holy One, as his name shall forever be glowing, a uh, glowing beacon to the faithful. So we, apparently we are lacking the first part of the ritual. Golem manual. This amazing tome contains theoretical musings on the construction and control of golems. It also explains how to use the manual to temporarily conjure a servant of assembled flesh which will obey the creator without question. One must have a minimum intelligence of 16 to understand the contents. Summons a flesh golem for 10 rounds once per day. Ooh, that's a good thing, isn't it? You could use that, could you? Very well. You point. I stand, I stand ready. What's on the outside of that door? Hey, door. Jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as gentle. It is too dark to clearly make out the statue before you. However, looking at it leaves you with the feeling that you are being watched. Okay, this may be trapped. Right you are. Yes, it is trapped. 
Nature could find a home here if it were properly cleansed and balanced. The rest is not trapped. Or locked at least. As you ask. Faster than chick take yes. a fast pause. What's that? Bell. It shall be. Case of Plenty and Elmus's Ecologies, another one of those books of Elminster. And what's in here? Um, okay. Unlimited plus one bolts, nobody's using a crossbow that uses balls. Crimson Dart plus three. Dart returns instantly to user's hand after being thrown. Isn't that a nice thing? Oh, wait, you can't... Yeah, you're a cleric, you can't use that. So that does... 1d3 plus 3. I guess that's better. 2d4 plus 3. I guess you couldn't use the knife either. Yeah. And since you have a bow that doesn't use m arrows, so we don't really need that thing right here now. Elminster Psychologies. Eh? I think we already had one of those. Is that correct? Yeah, we have two of those now. Hmm. Bullet plus three. That's something nice. A potion of superior healing. Just a ring. What's that? History of the Imprisoned One. This particular work is obviously much newer than any of the other volumes contained within the Temple Library. History of the Imprisoned One. He also serves who stands and waits and watches carefully. Such is the lesson of the Great God, Helm of the Unsleeping Eyes. Let the servants of this forgotten temple serve as an example to all who would follow the Vigilant One. Beneath this hallowed earth, the avatar of the Watcher confronted great evil, a prince of the Underplains. Though steadfast in perseverance, Helm, guardian of the gods, fulfilled his sacred duty and bound the creature in the bowels of the temple that it might walk the world no more. Speak not the beast's name, ye knights of the vigil, but guard this place. Protect the wards which will seal the imprisoned one within and remain ever watchful. Never betray your trust, such is the will of Helm. Okay. A chainmail plus two. Nobody really needs that. Consider it done. Alright, alright. What's that? A plague on the wall reads, in memory of uh, Giltam, the loyal archivist, he tended the fire and cared for the books and sometimes even brought us our slippers. May his spirit endure forever. Okay. Swords, not work. Live by the sword. Live a Let's see what's on the other side of that door. There was a door here, right? Oh, unpleasant. A vampiric wrath. Two, actually. Must get Gotta be kidding me, man. Stand back for justice! And what is my task? Great fat No fun at all. Minsk has been level trained. Anymore. 
much in my life. And I guess he lost his spells too. Can now, please? Not too many, actually. Okay. Every hamster has. But the bad news is, Ari is now fatigued. Make way, villainy! Hero coming through. What do we have here? Interesting. I await your word. Oh. Poison mist, wandering horror. I'll hurt you if I have to. Oh, don't talk back. Attack. Well, this one is dead already. Respond to it. Okay, I see. Lots of people standing here. What do you want? Anything trapped? No here? problem at all. For instance, that door? One, two, three, four, five. No. But kicking for goodness! Okay, how do we do that? Minsk here. Aye, as you wish. It is done. Where Minsk goes, even that's a sign. Okay, fire. Devil Shade. Devil Shade is dead. You pay for it. Hey. To battle and victory! Okay, who's next? Shadow Fiend, Shadow Fiend, Shadow Fiend. Lots of Shadow Fiends. Okay, I guess we're winning. By my honor, you shall not see another day. Go for the eyes, dude. Go for the eyes, yeah! For the solid! Victorious. Armored, sharpened, and jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as gentle. Okay. On my honor, it shall be. You can count traps. on me. And a hero has been level drained. Oh, there's a trap. How oh, unpleasant. So, Ari. And now one of your patented lesser restoration spells. And that probably means... She lost spells. Yep. Dang it. Okay. Yep, level drain is never fun. This way then? But she levels. That is always fun. She got a fighter level out of that. Ooh, what could we learn? Scimitars and clubs are maxed out already. Uh, sword and shield star is good too, so we will increase uh, the quarter stuff once more. And she gets abilities. I guess we want the whirlwind now. Thank you. So, what do we get? Apparently there's no trap in here. Consider it done. Except that one there. Okay, I don't need those books. Name it. Gotcha. So, what do we get? Okay, another potion that goes to Ari. And the wardstone. Two towers, 
to ever guard the tomb two wards to not enter the room. Okay. Anything trapped there? I guess not. The bigger they are, the harder I hit. I know. Unlike the other rooms, there appear to be no monsters in here. The runes inscribed on the floor and wall just inside the door to this room are similar to those at the main entrance to the temple. What do you require? That's a good thing, right? I will Probably do my means best. we are safe in here. So you should good look for traps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No traps apparently. Yes. Yes. Another wall stone. History of water deep. Okay. What's in here though? Another parchment. So apparently we have two wall stones now. It's a picture of a golem on it. Another potion. Ah, place the book, bell and candle upon the altar. Celebrate the holy name forever praised and renowned. Summon the faithful, gather at the altar. Witness his glory and triumph, ring the sacred bell. As it is written, the ritual has begun. Okay, so that's the first part of the ritual. Small shield plus two. Don't teach my hamster to suck eggs! Why not? For the fallen! <laughs> Victorious! Very well. Traps, anybody? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Probably not. Done. Another handwritten note. Ugh, my legs are just Key. aching. I've never walked so much in my life. Can, can we rest now, please? This brief note is written in wild, looping, haphazard script. The words seem to be almost nonsensical babblings. Tough guy, tough guy. Long red circle is tough guy now. LTM. Whatever that may mean. A few more potions are always welcome, though. Gems go in here. Exit to the lower reaches, the priest script, the altar. Fine. So there was a door here, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what's on the other side. Yeah, I'm quite, you know, Where Minsk goes, cautious here. Evil stands aside. Oh, great. No monsters. As you ask. Ready and willing. But there may be traps. <laughs> yeah, there was a trap. Very careful, very careful. That's not all. Uh huh. Nature's servant awaits. It shall In. be. Consider it done. It's locked. Awesome. Yep. How about you unlock Good to it? Go. Anything else to unlock here? Yes. Okay. I will do my best. A Tinder box and ammo belt.
quiver. Few books. Oh, my legs are just aching. I've never walked so much in my life. Can, can we oh, rest inventory now? full. Please. Okay, so that. <coughs> what shall I do? Hmm. A scribbled note. The winter chill of this holy place seeps into the very marrow of my bones. Alas, I have misplaced the tinder box for the health, and without it I am unable to light the kitchen fires. The blizzard does not obey, and I fear I feel the touch the cold touch of the grave upon my heart. Regrettably, the old priest could not remember the holy passage to be read during today's service. His noble soul is willing, yet his aging mind fails him in this his hour of need. Perhaps the discreet embroidering of the appropriate chapter and verse into the sleeve of his ceremonial robe will alleviate further embarrassments. And another equiver of plenty with unlimited plus one arrows. Nobody actually needs that. Because nobody's using arrows. But aside from that, it's just great. And there was a gem and some books. And that is old slippers. It is a miracle that this moldy mishap in footwear has not already dissolved into a pile of rancid dust. Really? Okay. So I guess we'll be calling it a video now. And continue in the next one. So, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Bye!